Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another video of Humanitech. So today's topic is about uh, SSB category service center book, this one. And uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to do this category and uh, what type of calls would you expect. So let's uh, start. So these are the instructions and uh, this category I have eight options. Option number one, specific appointment, walk-in, time range within one hour okay option number two is unscheduled walk-in or lose appointment time exceeding one hour option number three is appointment request mentioned but not set option number four is no appointment walk-in or drop off discussed option number five is upcoming scheduled appointment option number six is vehicle already in service option number seven is no not an appointment opportunity and the last one is correction call never connected to a live qualified agent which is option number eight so let's start by telling you about option number one by teaching you uh. so caller agrees to an appointment with a specific date time i needed to for example if a if a uh, customer calls uh, to an agent and suppose he asks, like, I need a tune-up, or I need an oil change, or I need a, to fix my tires. Then the agent replies, yes, we can fit you within one hour. For example, one hour frame, like maybe one LA 155, LA 130, um, anytime. Like fixed time within one hour, like two from one up to 145, 150. Uh, so yeah, so that's the fixed time. So if uh, the customer agrees to come to the, at a fixed time and the agent fixes his appointment, then it should go to option number one. It also uh, goes to option number one if the customer, uh, for example, the customer says, I'll, I'll stop by uh, in a couple of minutes and uh, the agent says, yeah, you can. Uh, so it should go to option number one because uh, the customer, um, already mentioned that he will be before one hour uh, so it's not exceeding one hour which it should also go to option number one uh, walk in time within uh, within our range also goes to option number as i said uh, for a vehicle that can be serviced immediately should be considered a specific appointment time this is true because even if an appointment is not put on schedule it doesn't matter if an appointment is fixed or not, right? Uh, but if uh, the vehicle, if the customer is coming within one hour for a service, then it should uh, go to option number one. For example, my car is being towed there now, right now and should be there in about 20 minutes. Can, I, can, it, can it be looked at right away? Towed uh, down, uh, towed is mean uh, when uh, a person vehicle um, has been uh, transferred from one place to another place with a tow truck. Um, tow truck is like a, a big type of a truck which uh, uh, which takes one vehicle from one place to another week uh, to another place. So that's called a tow truck. So uh, caller gets to an approximate time of around one hour. Um, that's uh, that's it. Caller discuss an existing appointment gets to a new appointment. For example, if the caller um, discusses an existing, suppose I have an appointment for around 1 a.m. Should I come at 1 a.m.? Um, then he says, yeah, you can. And he also mentions that uh, I, I need an, another appointment for my sister's car uh, for 4 o'clock or my wife's car for 4 o'clock or my girlfriend's car for 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock. And um, yeah, should, can I come? And the agent says, yeah, you can. So it's a new appointment now. Uh, the ex um, You should never put it in another option. So don't be confused, okay? Um, the when one uh, customer ask an agent about an appointment and the appointment gets fixed not even an appointment if uh, he agrees to come to a dealership uh, for a service then it should go to option number one option number two is a schedule walk-in or lose time appointment time rejected exceeding one hour caller gives a vouch 
agreement to possible yeah one uh, one more thing about uh, option number one is for example if a customer says uh, i'll be around 50 minutes or so also in the usa mean 15 minutes all right for example if a, if a person saying i'll be in 50 minutes or so meaning he will be more than it'll be in more than one hour and five minutes right so it should not go to option number one it should go to option number two because he said 50 minutes or so but if he says 30 minutes or so then it should also go to number option number one so please don't get confused over there okay when he used uh, when the customer or the agent use or so word or so simply means 15 minutes and standard language anyways uh, uh, option number two is unscheduled walk and discuss for example call gives a uh, virtual agreement to possibly come in do you have availability tomorrow morning yes we are plenty of uh, we are pretty open all morning uh, call okay i may drop it off in the morning call and that's it for example um he dropped it off uh, tomorrow or maybe he is gonna drop it off tomorrow but he didn't mention any time right like a specific time within one hour for example not 1 p.m not 2 p.m not 3 p.m he just simply says i'll drop it off tomorrow in the morning so it should go to option number two caller gets to come uh, uh, but approximate a time range that exists one hour. for example i'll be there in about two hours so he's it's exceeding already one hour so it should also go to option number two uh, uh, another one is caller agreed to come before us uh, before or after a specific time um for example uh caller comes before um caller wants to come before a specific time which is mentioned by an agent and an agent then says yeah you can come in but if the appointment was not fixed um uh, but if if the appointment is fixed then it should not go to option number two it should go to option number one but if the appointment is fixed for like if, if, if the appointment is not fixed and he simply says that yes i'm gonna come uh with after two hours then it should go to option number two another one is uh i can be there sometime before 4 p.m like uh, he the caller did never mention that he will be uh he'll be there maybe uh at 3 p.m maybe at 2 p.m maybe at 1 p.m we'd never know so don't assume all right that's the first thing don't ever assume like uh, oh he said 4 p.m maybe he's coming at 3 30 p.m so it's within one hour no don't assume it's not your work uh, your work is just to listen and um, to um, select the option which is right between these calls okay another one is i won't be able to get until after five in this example caller could be there anytime after five yeah so you never know when after five uh so these are the these are the um, option for uh option number second these are the requirements for the option number two uh caller is having as her vehicle told in but no appointment time is granted for example um i need to get my car service as soon as possible we booked all through all uh through the whole week can i uh, just come in and uh, have my serv car service between other appointments you can come in possibly have your car service if they have time but we cannot guarantee a service time and you may be here for a few hours i'll just get there and uh, when you open tomorrow at eight i'll wait so the agent never said that uh, yeah never guaranteed never said that you can come at 8 p.m or at 7 p.m but uh, the customer simply says yeah i'll be there at 8 or or 7 at any time uh, but the time but the appointment was never guaranteed and um, the service was never guaranteed that it will be done it was just uh, you know the customer was partially um, yeah the, the customer was partially agreed uh, so yeah it should go to option number two uh, option number three appointment requested mention not set caller asks about the service appointment but they do not agree for example i need to bring my car and some uh, routine service we can fetch you tomorrow morning that won't work for me i need to get a service today call and that's it um, he simply requested uh, for my appointment and uh, appointment was not fixed uh, if the customer um 
if the customer asks about the appointment then it should also go to option and if it's not fixed it should go to option number three and also if the agent asks about the appointment appointment like uh, would you stop by today for a serve for an oil change and the customer says no i can't so it also should go to an option number three yeah that's very simple uh, number four is no appointment working or drop of discount call is asking about service that was a project to book, uh, book an appointment but no appointment to uh, walk in or drop of a discount for example there was no appointment requested or mentioned not even by customer not even by agent but the ser service opportunity was um, but but service opportunity was uh, there yeah so caller does your service uh, department do all change said, yes call thanks that's it call ends so he asked that do your service department do all change so it was an, a service opportunity for example if I, if it says do you guys do an uh, tire rotation do you guys uh, do an oil change or um, keep programming anything that comes in service so what things goes to service these things first of all let me show you oil change fluid flush key programming key cutting key battery replacement part installation time installation battery installation card delete detailing installation 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 this installation part this all go to serve for example if he is only asking about the price of the part or the price of the tire or the price of the battery then it is not service okay it's parts if it's only asking about the price right like what's the price of the side mirror only if he is asking uh, what's the price of the size side mirror to be replaced then it should go to the service you shouldn't be confused here okay uh when he says uh, what's the price of the this part and what's the uh, installation of the you shouldn't be confused between these two the installation is something else and um, replacement installation fixing these are something else and uh, just asking simple price battery price that's something else it should go to parts i uh, shouldn't go to service when he says only uh asking about the price of the you know key programming not key programming key programming is already key replacement it's already in service so yeah should go to option number four uh i want to get my fluid flash and place how much do you change for that uh charge for that only the price is provided the price of the um, of the um, fluid flush is only provided not um uh, not the customer not the agent said that uh, will you stop by or want to stop by or um, or not even an agent says what time do you guys work anything like that right so it was uh, never it never was mentioned so i uh, hear um it should go to num option number four only and um, only the upper service opportunity was mentioned not the appointment opportunity of the service all right number fifth is upcoming schedule appointment call discuss an existing appointment for example i have an appointment for 5 p.m uh, and i want to change it to 6 p.m then it's it's, it's already an upcoming appointment uh, if if he has um if he is that discussing an existing appointment even changing it to reschedule or 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 cancel his appointment her appointment then that was already scheduled for an upcoming time or date that also goes to option number fifth right upcoming schedule appointment uh when the person uh talks about the existing appointment which he already fixed maybe in a, another call then he later on decides to cancel it reschedule it that same appointment then it should go to op option number five another option is vehicle already in service call or discuss or ask about the status of the vehicle. for example um, um I, I yesterday i told my vehicle i want to um, ask uh, the service manager how is my what's the condition of my vehicle right now what's the status of my vehicle um how is it going how was the key programming or something anything he can say anything right but he is asking about the status of his vehicle so or as um, service to vehicle for example if his vehicle is already in service um, uh, he, he like simply says my vehicle is already in service and i want to ask you um can i add 
tire installation too uh, on, in my vehicle or uh, can I add oil change from vehicle too? And uh, the agent says, yeah, you can uh, add that. Then it should go to the option number six, all right? My, I mean, it, he's adding more service with, and his car is already in service and you uh, can, can know when you listen to the call properly. No, number seven is no, not an appointment opportunity. Call a general conversation, personal call or employee to employ conversation. It's only a general call, for example, as an employee is asking an employee, how are you, how is, what's up, happy birthday, Valentine's Day, anything. General conversation, right? So it should go to option number seven. There's no an, an appointment opportunity of service, okay? So the, the service request is not offered by the dealership shop, it's anything. Well, I ask if there are any recall and it's told there are no open record. For example, it's the, if the caller asks uh, there are any recall in my car, and if the uh, if they say that, yeah, there are, uh, there are an open recall, and um, can I f should I fix it for you for tomorrow, then the, it should go to the service and it should go to uh, any upper options, all right? For example, if uh, if the time is fixed, then it should go to option number one. If the time is not fixed, it's just uh, mention that uh, come tomorrow, then it should go to option two. That's it. So these are the recall calls. Now another is caller ask if the service vehicle is due for service. For example, if the uh, agent the customer says that um, is my uh, car due for an oil change. And um, the agent says, wait, wait a second, let me check. And he simply answers, no, your vehicle uh, is not for, uh, due, for, due for service or uh, you should bring it after one, two months. It's uh, right now, it's, it's working okay. Anything like that. So it should go to option number seven. Call is about parts only. And there's, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, uh, when the, Call is about only parts. For example, what's the price of the of the, the tire, or what's the price of the uh, window, what's the price of the side mirror, anything. Just price only, not uh, any service. So it should go to option number seven, not to some other options, right? A call is only discussing a bill without any discussion on service. Only, for example, discussing about bill. How much that uh, was that? Um, um, how much was that? You know. How much was that car tire and uh, things like that, and only the bill. I mean, how many how many dollar it was in total? And he says it's five hundred dollars, two hundred dollar, and that's it. Collins. Then it should go to option number seven. Caller is only asking about a car wash without any discussion. So caller is only asking about a car wash. For example, I've towed my vehicle and uh, did they do a car wash on my vehicle? And uh, that's it. And simply call ends, then it should go to option number seven. Caller ask how to how to service something on their own and service are not needed from the service shop. Caller ask, uh, for example, oh, self service. For example, um, he is asking how to change the uh, how to change my Bluetooth and my car, and he and the problem was fixed in the on mobile. Like uh, you can change it like that and simply the agent helps him out. So uh, it should go to option number seven. So the the service which is fixed on call and does do not require uh, the customer to come to the dealership, then it should go to option number seven too. Call is intended for body shop. Body shop is a separate department from service, right? Body shop is like um, uh, a different department from service. For example, car doors, anything like that. It's a different different department. For example, uh, call is in the beginning of the call. He says, uh, "Can you transfer to a body shop?" And he then discusses anything about body shop. Call is intended for collision center. For example, if the caller is um, asking about the collision center, collision center is a different department too from the service. Uh, collision center is like. Um, the, uh, he is asking about the is uh when is when the car get accidented, uh, it's it's about actually an accidental cars. So the collision center department is all about the accident cars, uh, accidental cars. It's not about um, the service uh, department. So don't get confused. There are three type of 
calls which uh, with you which you, you would think is service but it's not first is body shop uh, if he's uh, the call is intended about body shop then it's not a service call second parts if he is asking all the price of the parts like what's the price of this mirror what's the price of the uh that um, anything like i mean um tire keys anything so it's uh, it's it's not a service it should be sound option number seven and the call is intended for collision center it also should go to option number seven so these three option don't get confused with it service calls are different Correction. Call never connected to a live qualified engine. Call never connected to a live qualified engine. Call is left on hold. For example, call is never connected to a live qualified engine. If you have uh, listened to my inbound call catch call video, you would know what's a live and qualified agent and not qualified agent. Live simple. I will. I will. A simple word. Qualified agent is those is is an agent which can help uh, the eighty percent inquiry about the caller um, i mean he can help 80 percent of the inquiry of the caller that's called qualified agent if uh, he cannot help the inquiry about the caller uh, about the caller's problem then he is not a qualified agent caller never connect to a qualified that's number i should go to option number eight call, call is left on hold for example uh, he's asking what's the price of the oil chain and he is left on hold totally and after that um, Call ends uh, should go to option number eight. Caller connection was lost and no contact information was shared and or a point discussion took place. Caller connection was lost simply. For example, he is saying, hi, how are you? Uh, can I um, talk to Martin or anything? And after that, caller connection drops. That's it. It should go to option number eight. Caller reached voicemail. For example, caller reached to, vo to a voicemail. It should go to option number eight. Um, it's an automatic. Um, Drawing machine, we were, he, she, she would simply says, "You have reached a voicemail." Just like that. Caller had the wrong number. Uh, yeah, you simply do know what's the wrong number. Caller did not did not reach the desired person and left live message. For example, caller have reached a qualified agent, and he says, uh, "Can you tell Gordon anything, Mark, Marcus, to please call me back?" Or tell him uh, to what's it uh, and ask him if uh, he mentions that um, ask him about what's the stats of my car, uh, which is which is uh, in a service department and uh, uh, what what's going on about the car installation, about the tire installation over there. Then it sh you shouldn't put it in option number eight. You should put it option number six, right? Because um, he already mentioned that his car is in a service. But if he simply mentioned only that, um, um, like, uh, please let him, uh, please tell him to call me back and do not mention, yeah, I do not um, say a lot of uh, information or share a lot of information, then it should go to option number eight. Anyway, call, caller did not reach a desired person. Call did not reach the desired and declined to leave a live message. Sometimes it happens when he says, uh, well, "Let me, okay, I will, uh, I will trans, I will, please uh, tell me what to say to Marcus. I will tell him for you." And he said, "No, I will call him back myself." Then he did not leave a live message, so it should go to option number eight. Another is caller hung up during the bridge greeting. For example, "Hi, uh, hi, this is." Uh, I mean, bridge greetings are like recorded uh, calls of a business greeting. This is um, at um, dealership of Atlanta or something like that. Toyota dealership of Atlanta. And after that, he just disconnected this call. Then should go to option number eight. Call it consists only of fax machine or other sounds like some noises, right? It's, it's a spam or something like that. Then it should also go to option number eight. That's it. Let's uh, review some calls then live calls i guess to teach you more so it's a two minute call thank you for calling me still sunday yeah hi um, i have a question i have a an appointment for tomorrow for service at 10 30. 
And I wanted to see if it would be a problem if I brought the car in earlier. Just I know it won't be seen earlier, but can I drop it off earlier? Yes, you definitely can. I've seen that happen before, and that's no problem. When okay. is this service open? So what's the earliest I can drop it off? You open at 740. It, it is a little crazy at the time um, since, you know, they, a lot of people do want um, But it, like you say, it's just dropping it off, and they, it won't be too crazy for you dropping it off at the time. Okay. Is it, would it be better, like, if I dropped it off tonight? Do that, yeah. You can do, um, we do close at 6 o'clock um, service. Uh, somebody in sales can help you with that or, or just the drop box in the drive, um, in the driveway in service drive. There's a okay. little thing where you can drop off your keys in the number. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. No problem. So, and uh, this, uh, in this call, he say, she simply says that um, I have an appointment for a service uh, tomorrow and um, can I drop it off earlier than that? So it's an option number five, upcoming scheduled appointment. As I told you that uh, if the customer is uh, saying, is uh, sharing about uh, already existing appointment, then it's an option number five. So we should select option number five and it's the correct one. Uh, that's all. I guess, um, folks, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.